You guys, welcome back. Today I'll be making Bon Pa, a vibrant and robust dip and sauce made of fish and roasted aromatics. This dip is from Laos and widely eaten throughout Isan, the northeast region of Thailand. It's one of my favorites to eat with sticky rice and crunchy vegetables. Let's get started. Let's prepare a rich fish broth. This is badak, known in the Lao language as fish that's been fermented in water and salt and aged for months to even years until it breaks down into an umami sauce that's rich in glutamate. To prepare this badak, I'll mince the fermented fish chunks into a paste. and with hot water, I'll collect all of its flavors and essence, making it easy to discard any chunks of bones that could end up in the final dip. We'll need some herbs for the broth. and also some herbs to go in the dip. Let's prepare the broth. Any mild tasting fish would work well for this recipe. Traditionally, snakehead fish or catfish is used, but red tilapia tastes pretty good too. You can definitely use fish fillets, but the reason I add a whole fish in here is because the bones add a lot of flavor to the broth. Carefully separate all of the bones from the meat. I suggest using your fingers to feel through the meat and make sure all of the bones are removed. Let's roast up some aromatics in a dry pan on medium heat.
I need to swap for a larger mortar. This clay one here will do the trick. The pestle that it came with cracked, so I'll be careful with this stone one. Bonpa is very tasty with sticky rice, jasmine rice, fresh and boiled vegetables and herbs. It could act as a dip and a sauce. Depending on the saltiness of your badak from earlier, you should taste and adjust the amount of fish sauce you need here. This amount is just right for what I used. Here we have it, bonpa, a savory dip full of roasted aromatics, so umami, vibrant, and spicy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and leave me a comment below. I'll see you all in the next video. Be safe everyone.